Good morning, Daily Gang. I'm back. It's Sunday. We are on my development tour, sold out again. I've downed the amount of people that was allowed to come this time. So normally we have two mini buses, but it was very difficult to control two mini buses around the projects. So we put one on. Doing us up bright and early. Mm -hmm. Day 14, 15? 14. Day 14, maybe 75. He yeah. looks fit, he looks healthy, yeah. he looks fresh. How are you feeling? Good, man. Good. Happy? Yeah. That's good. Cruzy's birthday yesterday. Thank you for every single person that reached out. Seriously, the amount of DMs and messages I got publicly was absolutely insane for my son. So everybody that reached out, massively appreciate it. Seriously, thank you very much because any, it means a lot. Any clips? Any clips of? The boy? Mm, I kept it quite private yesterday. Mm. I kept it quite private. Mm. Went out for a meal last night with the family. Had some, some quiet time, basically. I wanted to just spend some time with my family, which was really nice. And I had a very quiet weekend, to be honest with you, yesterday. I say weekend, it was only one day. But back at it today, going on the tour. Seems like a really interactive group as well, which is pretty cool because usually we have to get people to talk. This one, everyone was talking, which was amazing. So they'll get some truth, they'll get some motivation, they will get some really cool education. So come with me and let's go and see what happens today. and you're going to be sitting there for hours on end trying to figure them out for no reason that's not going to add any value to your lives in the future. Legislations is what you want to learn about. That's what you want to know. What's the legislations with HMOs? What's the legislations with building, um, converting houses into flats? What's the legislations with um, in Wales? Because they're completely different to the legislation in the UK. You're going to buy in Wales at some point because it's too good an opportunity not to buy in Wales. Um, so you need to learn there's two different types of legislation. The stamp duty in Wales is different to the stamp duty in the UK. Um, when you're building flats in Wales, there's different laws. Like you have to have sprinkler systems. In the UK, you don't have to have sprinkler systems. There's so many different things. That's what you guys need to focus on. Not the minute details as in, can I read a structural engineer's drawing? Because you're just pissing, you're never going to use it. it. Makes no sense to learn it. You need to learn about refurbs, costs. You need to be up to date with the cost of things. How much does things cost? How much is the square meter of tiles fitted? How much is it to render a house square meters? How much is tarmac a square meter? What's the going rates? What's the averages? What's it in Manchester? What's it in London? What's it in Wales? What's it in um, up north, wherever even further, Newcastle and stuff like that? If you can understand all that kind of stuff, that's the knowledge you need. If you're doing, if you're buying a house at the right price, okay, and you know that you've got enough profit in there and you've allowed for a house to be skimmed. So this house to be skimmed is gonna cost around four grand to go over the top if it was plastered. About four grand to skim this house. Now, I'm doing a full rewire so they'd have to chase all of the walls out in order to put the wires for the plug sockets and stuff in. Yeah. Um, I like all of my central heating pipes from my radiators and stuff to come out of the walls. I, I hate them coming out of the ground, they look horrendous. Um, so, so I look at behind. behind, so they give, we'll go and see some today, floating radiator appearance. So I'm looking at my profit. Now I'm telling you on this house, if I converted this into a four bedroom house, it would cost me with gardens and everything about 70 to 80k to get this done to a decent standard. I bought it for 200 just say, and the end value is north of 350. So that's basically 350. So I make 70,000 pound profit from this house, potentially, if I use it as a house. Why would I just not pay another three grand to go back to Brick to keep the finish exceptional instead of just having a very good finish? So lose three grand of my profit in order to take the whole place back because it costs seven grand to take this back to Brick. Um, why wouldn't I do it just to keep that level of amazingness? If my, if my money was really tight and you know I was making 10, 15 grand profit, well then 3,000 pound is a massive allowance off your profit, it's like 20%. Whereas if you're making that kind of money, to keep your name like, and people walking around going, 
that's one of your properties and they can see it, but the three grand allowance out of a 70 grand profit, it's common sense again. But again, it just depends on where you set your standards. under permitted development, okay? If you wanna go six meters on a terraced or a semi-detached house, you have to serve um, a notice, okay? You have to put it in. They can't refuse it, but it takes 42 days. When you've got a detached house like this, we're allowed to come out four meters under permitted development, or eight meters, like what you're seeing here, but we have to wait the 42 days before we can do it. Whereas if we didn't want to wait the 42 days, we could do the 20, we could do the four meters and do it the same day. So what happens is, permitted development, four meters, you're allowed to do it from day one. If you want to go eight meters, which you're allowed to under permitted development, they have to let the neighbors know what you're doing and you have to wait 42 days to pass and then you can start. Is it an uh, implicit answer so if they don't say anything? Kind of well, even if they say anything, there's nothing they can do. My old neighbours objected to our 8 metre single development and they said it was because of a bathroom window. But did you still build it? No, we, did. we ended up getting kind of involved and everything, but we ended up putting a fence outside yeah. just to, to cover it. And, and, and then you built it. it. Yeah. yeah. So they can't, they can't, there's nothing they can do because like, it's permitted development. It's not planning permission. Planning permission and permitted development are two different things completely. PD rights is something you're allowed to do as long as you tick the boxes. Full planning, where you need planning permission, is down to an individual who sits at a desk and says yes or no. Um, so a little tip, but you can't film this. The tour is going amazing. This is probably the best group Ireland TPC tour we have ever had. Interactive, confidence, questions, all new faces, literally all new faces. So it shows how we're growing, how we're moving out. So if you go in a room and you walk like that and it's like you're walking on a ship, well you know there's a good chance that either the joists are all uneven or there's a structural issue. It's not rocket science. If a house is leaning, there's a chance it's structural. If you look outside and the house looks like it's on the piss, don't need Sherlock Holmes to come and tell you there's a problem. Um, but that's just common sense and just spotting things. So you wouldn't take a surveyor with you, like someone you know? If, you, if you're unsure, 100% take, take a surveyor. A surveyor. Like yeah. an unofficial sort of yeah. surveyor. Yeah, until you're comfortable with doing it yourself, it's best to be prepared and backed yeah. up. Because there's a lot of money at stake. So that's important. Any questions, guys? What about uh, buying with a modern method of auction? Is that an option as well? Yeah, that, oh, I'd buy that, that. that. That was I am sold. So that one okay. was just in. That was yeah. modern method of auction. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, they're good. Just know the fees yeah. and put them into the costings of what you want to pay for the property. Okay. Yep. Anyone else? Right, and let's get back Can to the office. Can you buy uh, auction properties on a bridge? Yeah, yeah, that's what it's for. That's, what it's for. that's what bridging is actually for. Auctions and <laughs> dilapidated properties. Days, right? you, can get an, you can get a bridge within a week three days, two weeks. So that's where your power team comes into play. Great broker, great solicitor. They will make that completion happen in 28 days. Yep. Right, let's get back to the office guys because this driver's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's past five o'clock. The knowledge today was really good. To hear from a, an active property developer is something that you don't hear from every day. Uh, so yeah, to, to get a whole range of of opinions and knowledge is, is just incredible, really enjoyed it. We loved how informative it was, we loved how we saw different, the stages of the property from being back to brick all the way to the finish, which was good to see, and also the network and the, uh, and the conversations that we had, so definitely recommend it. I think it was absolutely amazing, really insightful, we learned a lot, we saw a lot, it wasn't just sort of just telling us, he was showing us as well, so I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, amazing. Um, Steve, great help, uh, amazing day out, took us around 
see some of the properties. Um, very helpful, very knowledgeable guy, and has uh, taught me a lot today as well, really. So, yeah, I'll definitely be coming back. I highly recommend um, newbie or experienced. Um, highly recommend. I picked up loads, um, and I've already just had a conversation with Steve to book on to the next one in the next month or two. Um, so that we can see different uh, types of projects and what it's like to be at the top of the game. 20,000 subscribers, baby. We did it, we hit it. The smile on the team's face, the effort that everybody has put in. Yes, YouTube is a slow burner. It's been three years, has it been three years, Dave? April, April it'll be three. Three years in April, we've got to 20,000 subscribers. The next milestone is 50, but you know what? We're going to celebrate the 20,000 right now. I'm here with somebody who's about to do a joint venture with me. Um, I am literally, if you have a look there, I've got a joint venture partner in. Are we not allowed to show? Are we allowed to show? No. No, because we've got someone in there with the trainers and we're still not revealing who it is just yet. But I've got um, a new joint venture partner in there signing the contracts today on one of my latest projects. I have another one as well by the end of today for you guys. We're ramping it up. We're going all out. We are trying our hardest to become as great as we can be, basically. Um, I've had a great weekend, it was my son's birthday. Obviously we had the tour yesterday, which was incredible. Probably the best tour we've ever done, because the interaction was awesome. I hear Dan got some absolutely unbelievable feedback, which Duna, could you please place it here? There's no time limit as well. We've gone over and the guys, they don't seem to mind. So for what you pay, priceless knowledge. I've mainly been speaking to Dan, so I think Dan, Dan is the man. <laughs> and I've been basically interviewing him for the whole day, to be honest. Um, Dan's been the best. Um, looks like Dan's going to go off and set his own property company up and leave me. Um, he's, he's, got, he's got like that bit between his teeth now. He's here, look. Come on, look at him. Look at the smile on his face. Watch this. What happened, Dan? What happened, Dan? That's a nice feedback. Dan, Dan is the man. Yeah. What's that Liberty Company you said this morning? <laughs> Dan's properties are us. Mate, I'm not doing that way. <laughs> it's really lovely to hear the feedback that he's actually been given because he fully, fully deserves it. If anyone deserves it, he actually does. D, you deserve massive, massive, massive feedback from the people who watch the channel today for what you've done. Ayush, you also deserve massive feedback for what you've done. Mm -hmm. uh, Phil, he deserves zero. None, nothing, not even a clap, because he's on holiday and left us, and he's he's just he's not bothered. He's just not even giving us any recognition. He's not even telling us he's having a great time. He's just like, yeah, whatever. I'm on holiday. Leave me alone. So Phil, this clap is a singular clap you're going to get for the daily from me. JV, earn and learn, signed up, and contract is signed. He's just left. Really, really nice human being. He's got to get so much out of this. My JV Earn and Learns are exceptional. So not only do you get to be part of a development, you also get an A to Z of learning as well. It's just an amazing concept and it's helping me grow at a new pace. So while I've been getting all of the behind the scenes sorted with the new staff members and the systems and the procedures and all the policies in place, um, I feel in the next couple of weeks, that's the time to ramp it up. Um, we've just seen how the system works with the, the last like five JV partners Earn and Learns that we've signed up. Seems to be going amazingly well. We have a really good structure in place, a lot better than we did last year. And I feel confident now that I can, like I said, step it up, increase the volume, increase the, the JV Earn and Learn partners, and I feel as though the people around me can actually handle it correctly. So yeah, so that, that's, a, that's a good day. He was a lovely guy, like I said, I really, at least I get to pick and choose who I work with. That's the key. I actually get to say yes and no now, whereas before, because I wanted to grow, you will kind of work with anybody that offers to work with you, basically. Now, I'm a little bit more selective. It has to be the right fit, but not only for me, because some people it might not work for. And we've had a few people who are like, Steve, that doesn't actually work for me. Um, so it's it's vice versa, it's not just one-sided. So that's pretty cool. Um, contract signed, and yeah. I'm incredibly proud of what, what we're building. 
and it was my son's birthday this weekend and I sat back in the house that I was dreamed of basically, the house that I actually dreamed of, that I live in um, and I looked at my son and I actually went into my gardens which I don't usually do because I'm never at home so I, I went in my gardens, we went for a walk and it was just, um, it's just a really nice feeling inside to know that my son's growing up in that, whereas I grew up in the complete opposite. And yeah, it was just a really, really nice feeling. And seeing what we're building here, it's just, in, it's incredible. It's nuts. It's actually outrageous what we're building. And I can see the pace it's going at, and I can see everything. And it's just sometimes you have to take that step back and think about it how far you've actually come because I have so far that I'm trying to go and there's new goals and new things I'm trying to reach that these few days where you actually sit back and go okay look at where I actually am it just makes it all worth it The division's going extremely well at the minute. It seems to be like having a, we've got a bit of a, a buzz around it. Um, everybody seems happy. Everybody seems like they're moving forwards correctly. Jay, what you did this morning was, was pretty cool. Like, you've shocked me. We've all talked about it in the office. Um, didn't know you had that in yeah, but fair play. Um, and we know that we've got the, the deal sourcing mentorship program starting next Monday. Um, obviously and we need you guys to be part of it. I saw the, the group chat with the whole sales team and everybody in there today. Um, I think you're all in tomorrow, aren't you? So if we spend some time together tomorrow, five minutes. Um, if we spend some time together tomorrow and we actually plan out how it's going to go, I mean, we've got the segments, we've got the sections, but then put everybody's roles to it. Um, figure out how everybody earns from it as well. Um, and then implement that because they've sent some new stuff over today, um, Daniel has and the rest of them, and some of the ideas they've got for the next one is pretty spectacular. Okay, so should we say half nine till 10, we have a meeting, and we thrash out what's going to happen next Monday, and we thrash out the plan for moving forwards in the next couple of months? Okay, that's good, yeah. I'm excited, it seems like it's a good day today. So, so yeah, anything you guys need, okay, happy days. Right guys, have a great day, I'll catch you in a bit. So we have some really cool things happening with the sourcing division, it seems to be getting a lot of momentum. Um, and I have to make sure that it's structured correctly because it all starts from the top. So I have to make sure that I've got everything in order that I want to happen because having it here and it not actually being here where these guys can actually implement it to how I want it, it has to come out of my brain onto paper. And that was probably the bottleneck previously in what we was doing, because everything's in my brain, everything's in my head of how I want everything to run. And because I'm 100 miles an hour, it was quite difficult to get it all out. Whereas, like I said, I've been learning to pace myself, I've been learning to communicate better, I've been learning to just, just make things simpler and allocating time, allocating my time to have meetings, to, to have Zooms and do things that I didn't do previously. And it seems to make things work so, so much better. My sales team that I have hired and implemented, they've put some unbelievable structure and infrastructure into the business in the two weeks that they've been here. Um, I mean, you can't speak on the camera just yet, but even you've probably seen the growth in the last two weeks and how it's going. Yeah. Oh, you said something? Yeah. Yeah, said something? Shock. He'll be announced one day. Um, or his trainers will. Have we got them trainers again? No ones. Oh, he's in a different pair? He's in a different pair of trainers? So yeah, so um, today's a nice day, it's calm. And also today's a big day for me because I'm actually going to look at my new house. Exciting times ahead. Um, yeah, exciting. Have a person waiting for me in reception to have a meeting. It's a really cool meeting. Could open the door to something really lucrative in the future. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Just depends on how hard people want to work.
Click below guys, a free guide to property finance. This is what you'll get, a complete breakdown, who we are, what we do, what property finance is, residential mortgages, buy to let, commercial bridging, development finance. It's all here for you, completely free. We give a different free document away every single week. The description is in the link with the description and the link below. The link is in the description below. Click it, completely free. I always add value guys, always.